what up, what up, what up, you guys? It's Blackwing2040. Happy holidays, everyone. Since it's December, in the spirit of the holidays, you know what that means. It's always time for Christmas specials. I mean Christmas specials all around. And in the spirit of the holidays, I decided to make my list of top 10 Christmas specials. Granted, this list was not very easy to make because there's a lot of Christmas specials I enjoyed watching. Some I remember watching, some I don't remember. It was just so hard to make. But granted, these are just 10 of my favorite specials. Not to say that one special is better than the other. Christmas specials, period, are all around just special. They bring, you know, joy. They're from the heart, heartwarming, loving content. It's just beautiful lot beautiful to watch in this time of year so let's get down to business and start off this countdown with my top 10 favorite Christmas specials at number 10 Christmas with the Joker from Batman the animated series now the funny thing about this episode this is the second episode of Batman the animated series that aired I know they're crazy right and of course this is also the episode that gave us that iconic song Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. It's just hilarious. And the reason why I like this special is because you get to see, you know, one, you get to see Batman get a pie to the face. It's just hilarious. And the main premise is, of course, Joker breaks out of Arkham. And while this is going on, Bruce and Dick want to watch It's a Wonderful Life. And they can't watch because Joker is pretty much deciding to give Gotham City a Christmas makeover. So Batman and Robin team up to thwart the Joker's plans and save Christmas. And it's an all around just fun special within itself. You get action, you get adventure, you get thrills, and plus it's Batman the Animated Series a and it, it has a Christmas episode. What more do you want? And it all, I'm being serious, though, the whole pie to the face on Batman was just hilarious. All right, next up, number nine, Comfort and Joy, The Justice League. Now, a lot of, I don't think a lot of people would say this is a really good Christmas special, or better even put this episode on their list, but I actually really like it because there's a lot of heart that comes with this. So the main premise of this episode, after the Justice League had just completed, you know, saving a planet and everything, it's Christmas time, and Jean, who is pretty much the heart of the team, doesn't have anybody to celebrate with because his family is dead, apparently, which is sad. So Superman decides to take Jean all the way to Smallville and celebrate Christmas with his, um, with his adoptive parents, the Kents. Flash is out spreading Christmas cheer to orphans, and they want a specific toy called DJ Rubber Ducky. That's really what the toy is. So Flash is actually able to find the toy for the kids, but it kind of gets broken in the middle of a brawl against him and the Ultra Humanite. So in the spirit of the holidays, Ultra Humanite decides to fix the toy up and give it a bit of a of a reprint and decides to have the toy tell the story of the Nutcracker. And it was a beautiful way of just, you know, to see, you know, a different side of things, especially during the holiday season. Also, you get a fun bits of Green Lantern and Hawkgirl just having winter activities and, of course, having an all-out brawl in a bar. But all around, the best part of this episode is just seeing Jean sing in his Martian language. It was beautiful. It's a really beautiful Christmas special. And I really wish you, I really recommend that you guys check it out. It's really great. Alright, number eight, the Class of 3000 Christmas special. Now, if you guys, you know, if you remember Class of 3000, you know how much this show is invested in its music. Especially with a person, Andre 3000, who's behind the creation of the show. So, the main premise of this special, Lil D is trying to find a way to get a gift called an extra. Pretty much, it's kind of like a video game console. And of course, Eddie gives Tamika a gift by having her spend the day with Santa Claus. And you guys know how much of a hard, tough girl Tamika is. And you, with this episode, it just pretty much, you see a flip side of her just being, you know, just so happy and everything and cheerful. Especially because it's Christmas, you know? And Sonny, who pretty much is upset at Santa because when Sonny was a kid, he wanted skates for Christmas, but he got the wrong kind of skates. So Sonny had this whole long grudge against Santa 
because he also wanted to be head elf. So Santa grants Sonny his wish by making him head elf and helping him save Christmas and everything. It's just all around awesome. The music, of course, if you know what class of 3000, it always hits with the music. It's just straight up incredible. And also another thing I just recently discovered, for you music lovers, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus are voiced by Lil Jon and Fergie. I never knew that. I'm just figuring that out now. That's just crazy to me. But still, an awesome special as a whole. Alright, number seven. Kids Next Door, Operation Naughty. Now, I love this special because as I got older, I see how much it references comic books. Because in this special, the Kids Next Door are framed by the delightful children from down the lane, and they decide to, you know, make every kid in the world naughty, and of course make the delightful children nice by them having every single present in the world. So, the KND team up with Santa's special ops elf team, they're kind of like the X-Men, and it was just awesome. This special just references, like, you know, X-Men, the Fantastic Four, it's just all around awesomeness. It's jam-packed with action, adventure, and of course, a nice little bonding moment between number four and number three. It's just awesome. And especially, it's kids next door. What else could you want with that? Come on. And I definitely recommend this uh, Christmas special as a whole, guys. It's incredible. Alright, next up, at number six, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Now, as... The title says that's also the name of the song. So the main premise of this special, you have a woman, Grandma, who also has a grandson named Jake Spankenheimer, who is like her little helper. So Grandma owns this store in the city, and everybody knows Grandma and loves her. But they also have the family has a rotten family member named Cousin Mel, who's obsessed with being rich. So one Christmas Eve, going into Christmas morning, Grandma gets run over by a reindeer and turns out her fruit cakes that she had in her hand were laced with reindeer nip so Santa takes grandma to the North Pole you know get her fixed up and everything Jason I mean Jake goes to great lengths to find his grandmother and he actually does end up finding her and it's just an all-around great story it also has great music as well too and I just love everything about this special because it used to air on Cartoon Network every year, but I just think Cartoon Network doesn't air it anymore, which sucks, but I still love the special because I enjoy watching it every year. Alright, next up, at number 5, Twas the Fight Before Christmas, The Powerpuff Girls. I love The Powerpuff Girls, it's my favorite show on Cartoon Network of all time, and a Christmas special for The Powerpuff Girls was just straight up great. So, the main premise of this it's Christmas time in Townsville, and everybody's happy, except for one person, Princess Morbucks, who she thinks is the nicest person in the world, but turns out, Santa says otherwise because she's on the naughty list. So, Princess decides to sneak all the way over to the North Pole, put her name on the nice list, and make every single kid in the world naughty. So, the best part about this special is how the race to the North Pole and the fight that ensues between the Powerpuff Girls and Princess. And you guys know, the Powerpuff Girls and Princess, they're like rivals. Then again, I can say she's Princess is more of Blossom's rival because I feel like her and Blossom like equally match. But regardless, the show, this special is packed with action, just fun, and it's the Powerpuff Girls. What more do you want? It's just great. Alright, so next up, at number four, Seven Days of Kwanzaa from The Proud Family. Now, granted, this episode does start out as Christmas themed, but the real thing is, the real kicker, is how it changes into a Kwanzaa episode. So, Penny and Oscar run into this homeless family, and Penny decides to ask them, like, why don't you spend Christmas at our house? And they come over for dinner, Trudy, of course, invites them in and everything. Oscar doesn't like the idea of just them coming over for Christmas because Oscar's a grouch in a way. But what happens the next day is they come again and Oscar's simply like, I thought I invited y'all over for Christmas. We don't celebrate. The family doesn't celebrate Christmas. They celebrate Kwanzaa. So the homeless family teaches the proud family all their Kwanzaa traditions 
and then decides, you know, change it up this year and celebrate something different other than Christmas and teaching them the Kwanzaa traditions. And the real awesome thing at the end of this episode is how Oscar changes and gets used to the tradition and also decides to help out an actual legit homeless family in need because this homeless family, you guys just gotta watch the special within itself because it's just incredible. I remember watching the special and it's just crazy how the twist that comes at the end of it. It's, it's a really great special. All right, next up at number three, Phineas and Ferb Christmas Vacation. I remember when this special aired on Disney Channel, I was so hyped for it because like, I didn't even want to miss it. So if you guys know, Phineas and Ferb is just an incredible Disney show within itself. So the main premise of this Christmas special, Phineas and Ferb decide to you know, decorate Danville as a big thank you letter to Santa because of all the great things that Santa does for the world, Phineas decides to you know, you know, give Santa his, the respect that he needs by creating a rest stop for Santa and also decorating Danville. And the fun thing is, Professor Doofen Dr. Doofenshmirtz, who really creates a device called the Naughtyinator, but he doesn't know what to do with it because he really doesn't hate Christmas. And the only thing, reason why he hates Christmas is because a bunch of carolers come into his home and start sing singing, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and they're asking for Piggy Pudding. <laughs> it's different spurs is just a petty ridiculous villain as a whole but still fun and i love this christmas the music of course is the soul of phineas and ferb and this special has a great amount of music numbers it's just awesome i love the special so much phineas and ferb saving christmas and everything it's just awesome all right next up at number two is how the grinch stole christmas I love this special so much. It's old, but it's a classic Christmas special. And pretty much the premise is, the Grinch, who has pretty much hates Christmas, stands on top of his hill looking down at the Who's who love Christmas, and pretty much he gets tired of it for 65 years because of all the noise that he has endured on Christmas morning from all the Who's opening their toys, having dinner, and singing, you know, around together at a Christmas tree. So he disguises himself as Santa and tries to steal all the Christmas presents and dump them off the side of a cliff. But it turns out, the Who still celebrated Christmas because they realize it's not about the presents. It's all about what's inside and the joy of being together with family and friends. And it's just an all-around beautiful Christmas special as itself. How could you not love How the Grinch Stole Christmas? And on top of that, it also got two film adaptations. A live-action one with Jim Carrey and a one made by Illumination where Benedict Cumberbatch portrays the Grinch, which I still haven't watched yet. So... Also, before I say my number one pick, there are no honorable mentions with this because I didn't really have any honorable mentions, but yeah. So, my number one Christmas special, if you guys knew what this is, you kind of saw this coming, but if you didn't, here it is. My number one favorite Christmas special is A Charlie Brown Christmas. And funny enough, this year is the 65th anniversary of charlie brown christmas and this was the very first peanuts holiday special that aired on television so the special starts out like this charlie brown who pretty much feels very down about the holiday of christmas because he feels christmas is nothing but a big commercial so lucy advises um charlie brown to get some involvement in a christmas project by having him be the director of their christmas play and of course charlie brown decides to direct the christmas play but he feels like the play is missing some Christmas spirit so him and Linus decide to go bring a Christmas tree and but the sad thing is though the tree that he gets it's not to everybody's liking but the real beautiful thing about it is is that the tree you know may not be as good looking but it's the thought that counts and another thing that Charlie Brown learns is Christmas is not about presents the greatest thing about Christmas is that it was about the birth of Jesus Christ and how God gave Jesus to us as the greatest gift of all. And that's pretty much how Linus just recites the whole verse to everybody and how Christmas is all glory in the God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill towards man. And that's what Christmas is all about. 
I just love that special so much. But anyway, guys, those are my favorite Christmas specials. In the comment section below, what are your favorite Christmas specials? And I'll be here happy to hear about it because to me, I feel like there's no... I feel like there's no bad Christmas special at all. Really, there isn't. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and click that bell to be notified. And as always, I am Vengeance, I am Darkness, I am Blackwing. Stay golden, and happy holidays.